Good morning everyone and welcome to the west of Ireland. Today I'm doing a get your guide tour to explore the cliffs of Moher, Kilmagor Abbey and Galway. Remember the song Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran? That's the place I'll be visiting today. I'm very excited to explore a completely different side of Ireland. Of course very different to the capital city Dublin. So if you're looking forward to today's video don't forget to smash the thumbs up and let's get exploring. So the first stop of the day is the Cliffs of Moher. So I don't actually know too much about these cliffs. However, I do know they're very, very popular and famous here in the west of Ireland. So I'm very much looking forward to, yeah, walking up, looking at the view and seeing what it's all like, taking lots of videos, taking lots of photos. I'm so excited to document this whole day because I've never experienced anything like it. The west of Ireland, I've heard amazing things. So um, yeah, I'm excited. So I've just had a little Google to find out some more information about the cliffs of Moher. But before I say about that, I just want to talk about my first impressions. I mean, first of all, it's absolutely beautiful and I can kind of compare it a little bit to the Seven Sisters in the south of England. They look, it looks very similar. Um, although when I visited the Seven Sisters earlier this year, you could barely see them because it was so foggy and cloudy. It's still a little bit foggy and cloudy, I guess, today, but nowhere near as much as it was when I saw the Seven Sisters. So the view is a lot clearer and you can see it properly, which is really good. Um, but from my research, it states that the Cliffs of Moher are sea cliffs located at the southwestern edge of the Burren region in County Clare, Ireland, and they run for about 14 kilometres. And um, yeah, the reviews basically state that it's one of the most famous attractions here, not only just in Ireland, but in the west of Ireland in particular. So if you're planning a trip to Ireland, I'd 100% have this on the itinerary. It took four hours to get here from Dublin, so it's quite a long trip, but 100% worth it. Okay, so I've just spent the last half an hour walking around, taking photos and videos. The time is currently half past 11. We have until 25 past 12 until I need to be back at the bus. So I'm gonna spend the next half an hour walking around. Then I'm gonna to go to the cafe and charge my phone and then we're gonna head on to the next stop. So one thing to note is that there's a coastal walk either side of the cliffs of Moher. So I'd recommend spending at least a couple of hours so you get the opportunity to be able to walk along each side. There's also a sort of tourist visitor center as well with some cafes what looks like to be sort of a few sort of museum ex like exhibitions if that makes sense so I'd leave enough time to make sure you can explore everything because yeah what a gem this is honestly it's absolutely beautiful I've been sending photos and videos to my friends and they just keep saying how beautiful it is so um yeah feeling very lucky to be able to experience this today and uh hopefully this video can encourage you to come and visit as well. The west of Ireland is known for its rugged coastline, picturesque countryside and traditional Irish culture the area is popular with tourists for its natural beauty, including the cliffs of Moher, Connemara and the Aran Islands. It's also known for its rich cultural heritage, including music, storytelling and folklore. Kilmacdor Abbey is a ruined early medieval monastery located in County Galway, Ireland. Today it's maintained as a historic site and is open to visitors. So we've made it to the final stop Galway. Galway is a city on Ireland's western coast and well known for the famous Ed Sheeran song Galway Girl. I'm currently exploring the Christmas markets and um, yeah they look amazing. There are lots of stalls, lots of different food so I'm not too peckish but I'm definitely going to have a little look around. 
Galway City is a vibrant and colourful city located on the west coast of Ireland. It's known for its bustling streets, rich history and lively music and art scene. Visitors can enjoy a stroll along the River Corrib, visit one of the city's many museums or take in a traditional Irish music session in one of the local pubs. And the boys in the NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay. So here's a quick top tip for you if you're ever in Galway. My tour guide said the best place to get fish and chips is a place called McDonald's. Not to be confused with McDonald's, it's just at the bottom of the high street and yeah, apparently the best fish and chips. I'm not too hungry, I've eaten quite a lot of food today, otherwise I would have, go, I would have gone and, uh, and checked it out and had some fish and chips. Um, but what I am going to do is head across to Tesco's and grab myself a meal deal because I'm getting back quite late so I need to get some dinner sorted uh, now. So yeah, I'm going to go there now but yeah, Galway first impressions. I haven't spent much time here but it's beautiful, it's a beautiful city. It's thriving, there are so many people out and about, obviously it's Christmas, Christmas markets, but yeah, it's a really nice city, I really like it, and I'd highly recommend you guys pop it on your itinerary if you're ever here in Ireland. 